Uh, we've got some news out just a short time ago on artificial intelligence, specifically open AI. And our Morgan Brennan has those details. It's this an interesting development here with regard to that and another very high profile publicly or privately traded company. That's right, Dom. So OpenAI is stepping further into the national security arena and doing so with, as you mentioned, another fast-growing venture-backed darling, Andrel Industries. The startups together are announcing a strategic partnership. This is to develop and responsibly deploy advanced AI for national security missions. Now, this brings together OpenAI's models with Andrel's defense systems and Lattice software platform. And put this simply, this enables Andrel to leverage OpenAI models to assess drone threats more quickly, more accurately, to give military personnel the information to better to make better decisions while staying out of harm's way. This is really a counter drone initiative, at least initially. Uh, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman saying in a statement, quote, OpenAI builds AI to benefit as many people as possible and supports U.S.-led efforts to ensure the technology upholds democratic values. Now, in the press release, the company's highlighting that in light of the race against adversaries like China, this strengthens the U.S. commitment to maintaining a technological edge and ensures that AI tools upholds democratic values while protecting military and critical infrastructure. It's very similar sentiment to what we've heard from, for example, Palantir, where Alex Karp has said AI has and will be critical to the notion of future deterrence. OpenAI has been expanding into the space. It's been working with the Air Force, DARPA. But this partnership represents the first time for the startup with another company. And in this case, it's the $14 billion fast-growing defense tech company that's founded by Oculus creator Palmer Lucky, Andrel. Now, it comes after Palantir struck a recent partnership with Anthropic, and last month that Meta said it, too, would make its Llama AI available for defense work. So, guys, uh, this is very much a trend we are seeing within not only the national security realm, but also in uh, the tech sphere around AI. Very big, different shift, I would say, in sentiment from what we saw just a couple of years ago from Silicon Valley.